just want to show you a really quick and simple and ingenious uh, storage solution for uh, Filofax pages or indeed any bound pages that I, I found on a friend's Instagram feed the other day. I can't for the life of me remember her username, I'll put it down below. Um, she showed how that she was using it for her Filofax and I just played about with it and see how, to see how it would work. Uh, but she actually said she had got it from somewhere on the internet, some hacking site or something. So, you know, I'm not stealing her idea or anything. She found it somewhere as well. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, this is so simple and it works perfectly with the uh, VHS storage solution that I showed you in my previous video. What you will need is your file facts pages that you want to archive, an elastic bend and a paper clip. A uh, small paper clip works best. You can either use one big elastic band, which is what I've got, uh, or you can use two smaller elastic bands. I'll show you how it works in a minute, obviously. So I'm just about to archive my March pages from my DIY fish inserts because L Filofaxi is looking a little bit chunky. This is my new Kensington, isn't it beautiful? It's the colour of Bourneville chocolate, but if you get it in the sunlight, it goes red. Oh, I love it, it's beautiful. Right, I'm going to grab my, my pen out. Grab my March inserts. So there's the beginning of my March. And uh, the end of my March is around here somewhere. There we go. So this is all March, so what I'm going to do, <clears throat> you want to take your pages out all in one go, so you want to get them so that they're all lined up, especially if you've got bits and pieces stuck in between like I have. And then what you probably want to do is get a bulldog clip and just clip them together because it's incredibly difficult to open a file of with one hand. Oh my goodness me, I'm all fingers and thumbs today. There we go. So now they're all lined up together, lots of holes together. Now, if you're using two smaller elastic bands, you will be using one here and one here. If you're using one large elastic band, you'll be using one in the middle. I'm just going to use one in the middle because I don't have two smaller ones. What you're going to want to do is take your elastic band, get a little loopy thing on it. Now this is quite tricky actually, metal and rubber quite hard to shift together. Loop it over the thin bit, or the small bit, of your paper clip and just pull it down to the end. So now what you have is a paper clip on an elastic band. I know, it's incredible isn't it? Okay, we're going to take that and no, it doesn't matter what way round you have your paper clip or if you do it backwards or if you're left-handed or whatever, it all works the same way. Don't, don't stress about that. I'm actually going to keep it on this black paper so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to paper clip on the top. I like the paper clip on the top. Put it down through that set of holes. Like that. See? Paper clip, elastic. And back it up through this set of holes. Just make sure you've got everything still lined up. It makes it a lot easier. You might have to wiggle it about a little bit, especially if you've got a random bit of paper that's coming loose. Okay, so now what you've got is paper clip, elastic band elastic band, elastic band. And guess what we're going to do now? We're going to take this bit and we're going to just hook it over that long piece there. Like that. And now you have your pages all together in a little booklet. You could do this by month. You could do a lot of pages together. You could, you know, even if you're, you could even use this if you're going out for the day and you don't want to take a massive file of facts with you. You could just take you know, your front and back 
dashboards and a couple of inserts and just take that with you. Pop it in your bag or even inside your Midori if you're taking your Midori with you. Ta-da! Isn't that cool? Like I said, I don't take credit for this at all. Um, I found it on a friend's Instagram feed and she said she had got it from some hacking paper site somewhere, probably life hacker I would have thought, or one of the moleskin hack things probably. Uh, but yeah, that is how you can put your stuff together with an elastic band and a paper clip.